Recall that the vertex connectivity of a graph is the minimum number of vertices that can be deleted to disconnect it or make it trivial. By make it trivial, we mean reduce it to a single vertex. If you need more of a thorough recap of the definition of vertex connectivity, I'll leave a link to my lesson on that topic in the description. One thing I'll remind you about this definition is that the last point about making the graph trivial is just there to account for complete graphs. So if a graph has n vertices, in order to make it trivial, we need to delete all but one vertex, as in n minus one vertices. Now, if a graph isn't complete, then we won't need to delete that many vertices in order to disconnect it. Since if a graph isn't complete, we could pick two vertices that aren't adjacent, delete the other n minus two vertices, and we'd be left with a disconnected graph consisting of two non-adjacent vertices. So if a graph isn't complete, then we can disconnect it by deleting at most n minus two vertices. However, if a graph is complete, it cannot be disconnected by deleting vertices. So we just define its vertex connectivity to be equal to n minus one. So the vertex connectivity, that's the lower case Greek letter kappa that we use to indicate vertex connectivity. The vertex connectivity of the complete graph Kn, I know this notation is a little confusing, Kn, that's the complete graph on n vertices, this is equal to n minus one. The vertex connectivity of Kn is n minus one. Because although you can't disconnect a complete graph by deleting any number of vertices, you can make it trivial by deleting all but one vertex. Again, if you want more of a thorough recap of the definition, there will be a link in the description. As I mentioned in that quick recap about complete graphs, the vertex connectivity of a graph G is denoted like this with the lowercase Greek letter kappa. What we want to prove today is that the vertex connectivity of a graph, that's kappa of G, is less than or equal to the minimum degree of the graph. This is a nice simple upper bound for the vertex connectivity of any graph. I encourage you to take a minute to think about why this is true. It's a pretty straightforward result. And make sure to note what this inequality means when we say that the vertex connectivity of G is less than or equal to the minimum degree of G. This means that if we delete the right minimum degree of G vertices from the graph, that will be sufficient to disconnect it or make it trivial. We may be able to do it by deleting fewer vertices, but deleting minimum degree of G vertices is sufficient if we pick the right ones. Before we go through the short proof, let's see it in action with this graph here. If we call this graph G, a quick observation will confirm that the minimum degree of G is equal to two. Then pick a vertex of minimum degree from the graph. For example, we could pick this one here, which has degree two. Certainly, if we delete all the neighbors of this vertex, that will disconnect it from the rest of the graph. And of course, it has minimum degree of G neighbors, since we specifically selected it as a vertex with minimum degree. So if we delete its two neighbors, that will disconnect it from the graph. So that's the idea. If you focus on any vertex, you can disconnect the graph or make it trivial by deleting all the neighbors of that vertex. Then in order to make that number of vertices we're deleting as small as possible, so that our bound is as tight as possible, we focus on a vertex specifically that has a minimum degree. Now let's quickly go through the logic a little more formally. Remember, we're just trying to prove that the vertex connectivity of a graph is less than or equal to its minimum degree. Let G be a graph. If G is disconnected, then by definition, its vertex connectivity is zero, and zero is certainly less than or equal to its minimum degree, since the smallest the minimum degree can possibly be is zero. So then going forward, we can assume that G is connected, since we've just taken care of the disconnected case. So if G is connected, let V be a vertex of minimum degree. Then by deleting the minimum degree of G neighbors of V, we will either disconnect V from the rest of the graph 
as we saw with this example, or make the graph trivial, which would happen if there were no vertices left except v. Either way, deleting this number, minimum degree of g, vertices, is sufficient to disconnect or make the graph trivial, and so by definition, the graph's vertex connectivity has to be less than or equal to its minimum degree. If you want a bit more formal justification that deleting the neighbors of a vertex disconnects it from the rest of the graph or makes the graph trivial, obviously if there are no vertices left in the graph besides v after deleting its neighbors, then we have made the graph trivial. If we haven't made the graph trivial, so there are other vertices in it besides just v, even after deleting v's neighbors, then v being connected to any of those vertices would mean that there is a path connecting v to those vertices, which directly implies that v has a neighbor on that path. But of course, that couldn't be because we deleted all of v's neighbors. So deleting all the neighbors of a vertex does ensure that the graph is either trivial or now disconnected, because the vertex whose neighbors we deleted will be disconnected from the rest of the graph. And so that's how we know that the vertex connectivity of any graph must be less than or equal to the minimum degree of the graph. But don't get the wrong idea here. You might think that this means a graph with a high minimum degree must have high connectivity. But that is not true. For example, imagine if we just considered the complete graph K100 unioned with the complete graph K1000. The minimum degree of this graph is 99. However, it just consists of two disconnected pieces, one K100 component and one K1000 component. Those components are disconnected and the vertex connectivity of this graph is zero. So the vertex connectivity of a graph is less than or equal to its minimum degree, but that does not mean that a high minimum degree forces high connectivity. This is just an upper bound. So there's a simple, handy upper bound for the vertex connectivity of any graph and why it's true. I would love to.